हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर रशीदा कांचवाला प्रोफेसर गवर्नमेंट पीजी कॉलेज महू इंदौर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आइसक्रीम फ्रॉम योर पेपर ऑफ फूड साइंस ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव चेरिश्ड आइसक्रीम for many a times in your life and you know that ice cream is a solid at low temperature and turns into a liquid at room temperature basically ice cream is a colloid an emulsion and a frozen form today i want to discuss you about ice cream to acquaint you about the components of ice cream to let you know the science of ice cream making to let you learn the principles of making a good ice cream and to make you to be able to differentiate between different ice creams and of course to differentiate ice cream and different iced candies now what is an ice cream ice cream is a cool semi solid form that is solid at very low temperatures and it becomes more malleable as its temperature increases it is smooth and its smoothness is due to incorporation of air when it is stirred this air incorporation provides it a soft and porous structure ice cream is yummy due to its cool creamy mouth feel this cool creamy mouth feel is a result of its freezing at low temperatures the temperatures are low enough then the freezing temperature of water freezing of this savory at very low temperature prevents detectable ice crystals from forming and gives it a yummy flavor students ice cream is usually made from dairy products such as milk and cream it may have fruits or other ingredients and flavors added in it the sweet taste of ice cream is due to addition of sucrose cane sugar beet sugar or any other sweetener including artificial sweeteners the attractive color of ice creams are brought about by colorings different flavors are produced by addition of flavorings and the emulsion is stabilized by mixing stabilizers in it after knowing about basic qualities of ice cream let we know how ice cream turns into such a product that is what is the science behind ice cream making ice cream making deals with the physical and chemical aspects of milk and other 
added solids which turns them into a solid yet soft structure which says that it melts very slowly giving a pleasant mouth feel ice cream is a successful frozen emulsion we can say ice cream making is an art of making an emulsion as we know that emulsions are the compounds which contains substances which are otherwise not mixable in ice cream emulsion five unmixable components are mixed together to form a uniform product that is ice cream five components of milk uh, of ice cream are ice crystals fat sweeteners air and other solids let us know what are their roles in ice cream making first and foremost component of ice cream is ice which gives it a chilly sensation but in ice cream making it is advisable to have small ice crystals the size of ice crystals largely determines how the ice cream eventually turns out a successful ice cream emulsion contains such fine ice crystals which could not be detected while eating that it it should be such a fine structure that it can't be detected ice creams are created when the water content in the base starts to freeze freezing of water in ice gives ice creams is solidness and body the art of ice cream making relies upon the science of keeping ice crystals size down students after knowing role of ice in ice cream making we come to the second part of word ice cream that is cream creamy taste and flavor of ice cream the creamy taste and flavor of ice cream comes through the addition of butter or fat in it addition of butter or fat in ice cream also provides richness stabilizes the base mix improves density and smoothens the texture of ice cream of course addition of butter enhances flavor of ice cream the sweet delightful taste of ice cream is a result of sweetness added in it ice cream making can be done 
with the help of different sugars sugar may be honey or syrups or different sugars available in the market sweeteners have important role in ice cream apart from sweetening they improves texture and body of ice cream lowers freezing point of the mix and ensures that ice cream does not freeze rock solid air is the cheapest invisible ingredient in ice cream amount of air in ice cream is indicated by a term overrun amount of overrun is specified by different regulations and as per amount of overrun there are different types of ice cream which we will discuss lately in this module first of all we know from where air comes in ice cream mix and what are its function in ice cream making the tiny air cells are incorporated when ice cream mix is whipped air in ice cream is largely responsible for the general consistency of ice cream and it greatly affects its texture and volume since it is free and it increases the volume of ice cream some non premium commercial ice creams could have an overrun sometimes even exceeding 100% apart from five basic ingredients milk may have some other substances added these substances are proteins and mineral salts flavorings and colorings these substances adds flavor sweetness texture body and smoothness of ice cream they provide less free roaming water in the ice cream and helps to make is cream structure however addition of too much solids may bring an unpleasantly sandy sensation in the ice cream besides above cited ingredients ice cream also needs some other substances which make unmixable above ingredients into a mix and this wonder is created with the help of two substances these are emulsifiers and stabilizers emulsifiers combine unwilling ice cream ingredients into a mass and stabilizer stabilizes this mass first of all let we have a word on emulsifiers emulsifiers are extractions of various oils that is they are glycerides they may be monoglycerides and diglycerides of different oils sorbitol also can be used as polysorbate AT or twin AT as an emulsifier in ice cream mixes second type of substances which stabilizes ice cream mix are stabilizers stabilizers along with stabilizing the mix gives down growth rate of ice crystals immobilize and absorb 
the liquid in ice cream and yes reduce the melting speed of ice cream students after knowing basic ingredients of ice cream making and emulsifiers in as role of emulsifiers in ice cream let we come to stabilizers which stabilizes it at lower temperature as well as which retards its melting speed there are various stabilizers available for this purpose they may be animal or vegetable origin gelatin which is an stabilizer of animal origin and pectin agar agar and starch which are stabilizers from vegetable origin can be included in ice cream making is per purpose involved besides home level stabilizer ice cream making at commercial level employs different commercial stabilizers well known commercial stabilizers are agar agar which is derived from a sea wheat guar gum which is derived from guar bush xanthan gum which is a by product of fermented corn starch galen gum which is derived from fermented bacteria and carrageenan which is derived from moss and other red algae after getting accustomed with the ingredients of ice cream let we know how an ice cream is made ice cream making can be divided into six processes that is first of all preparing the ice cream base then pasteurizing it homogenizing it aging it freezing it and hardening it first of all ice cream base is made to be taken for different further processes ice cream base is made with the help of fat sugar and water it contains generally 10 to 20% fat which may be milk or any other vegetable fat there are 10% non fat milk contents in it they may be proteins and salts it contains 15% sugar of any type and around 60% of ice cream is water students after making an ice cream base second step is pasteurizing it pasteurization of ice cream base is required to destroy dangerous bacteria and pathogens it is also essential for commercial ice cream production and any preparation of raw eggs in which custard based ice creams are made because eggs are a very good culture media for pathogens for the purpose of pasteurization the base is heated to about 85 degree centigrade and stirred and chilled rather quickly in industrial settings this purpose is performed by batch pasteurization with heats milk up to 65 degree centigrade and at this temperature milk is kept for up to 30 minutes after pasteurization the mix is homogenized you know 
that homogenization is a process of turning big fat globules into a smaller one. This process is performed by churning the ice cream base at heightened temperatures. In industrial settings, the mixture of water and fat is typically forced through a narrow slit at a high pressure. This activity breaks the fat droplets and disperses them into very small sizes. Now, we come to advantages and disadvantages of homogenization process in ice cream base. Homogenization breaks up and disperses fat droplets in ice cream base. It enhances the emulsion of fat into ice cream base. It more evenly distributes fat molecules which gives a thinner base which in turn captures more air, makes the ice cream more stable and smoother by improved capacity of air holding. It also adds to the body of ice cream. Having gone through pasteurization and homogenization, the ice cream base is cooled down to fridge temperatures and given time to age or mature before freezing. Aging can be accomplished from between 4 to 24 hours. In commercial ice cream making, the ice cream base is typically cooled down very quickly to about 5 degrees Celsius and then kept at this temperature for a few hours. Let me know why aging is performed. Aging allows the myriads of individual fat droplets to partially solidify and have their surface coated by the proteins. We can see that it settles the chemical ingredients of the base and this process greatly improves the texture, smoothness and stability of the final product. After aging, the chief process of ice cream making, freezing and hardening is performed. Freezing of ice cream is not a single process. It is performed with beating or we can say incorporation of, uh, of air in it. For this purpose, ice cream base is pumped into a metal bearer surrounded by very cold refrigerant. Inside the barrel, a high speed dasher churns the mixture. Due to this, Ice cream is aerated as well as freezed. When the mixture is half frozen, it is kept at a final temperature between minus 10 to minus 12 degrees centigrade to make it firm enough. At this temperature, ice cream can be scooped well and yet it is smooth. The science of ice cream freezing is based on the theory of freezing point depression or we can say artificially lowering the freezing point of ice. Students, you must have remembered the old days when in summers your families used to make ice creams in earthen pots where 
you made to put ice and salt and in this oil ice and salt mixture ice cream base was put into cans and this pot was rotated frequently to make ice cream addition of ice and salt lowers freezing point of water and thus freezing point of liquid inside it and a temperature of minus 10 to minus 12 degree centigrade is maintained nowadays liquid nitrogen is employed on industrial levels to do to serve the same purpose liquid nitrogen is a substance which has got very low freezing point but its handling requires great caution the persons handling it requires goggles and gloves to handle it although the end result with the help of liquid nitrogen is extremely smooth and delicious ice cream production after freezing ice cream that is half freezing ice cream we can say after freezing 50 percent of water in the ice cream it is hardened before hardening some ice cream is served as such all of you have cherished softies softies are such type of ice cream in which only 50 percent water is frozen these can be can also be packaged at such or packaged with the addition of nuts biscuits crumbs chocolate chips or any other substance but for more harder varieties a continuous blast freezer or batch freezer is employed to harden the ice cream as we know that softies melts very quickly and if we want some hard ice cream it must have to be frozen at minus 40 degree centigrade during this process remaining water which is 50 percent also gets frozen and it is now stable if it is kept at minus 25 degree centigrade after going through ingredients and process of ice cream making let we know about types of ice cream you know that there are various types of ice creams available in the market these ice creams can be classified as per type of fat amount of fat quality consistency special purposes and of course description of ice cream is incomplete without a mention of different frozen deserts after knowing different varieties of ice cream let me proceed to varieties as per type of fat used there are basically two types of ice cream dairy ice creams and standard ice creams dairy ice creams use butter cream or anhydrous milk fat is fat in them whereas vegetable fats 
specially saturated hydrogen and hydrogenated palm or coconut oil is used in standard ice creams the second variable in ice cream types is amount of fat in the final product as per amount of fat ice cream is of three types regular ice cream reduced fat ice cream and light ice cream regular ice creams contain nearly 10% milk fat whereas reduced fat ice cream contains 25% less fat than regular ice cream and light ice cream contains at least 50 to 33% less fat than regular ice cream after this there comes two more varieties that are low fat and non fat ice cream low fat ice cream contains maximum 3 grams of total fat per serving and non fat ice cream contains only 0 0.5 gram fat per serving ice cream standards are set by us food and drug administration and as per them these labelings of ice creams are done now we come to different types of ice cream which are available in the market these ice creams are premium super premium in market ice creams are available with di different tags like super premium premium regular and economy let me know what these terms mean super premium ice cream have very low overrun and high fat content these ice creams are made with best quality ingredients premium ice creams have also a low overrun and higher fat content than regular ice cream but lower quality ingredients than super premium ice cream regular ice cream meets the overrun required for the federal ice cream standards while economy ice creams although meets required overrun but have got lower priced or lower quality ingredients as per consistency ice creams can be divided into hard french and soft ice creams we have already discussed soft ice creams or softies hard ice creams and french ice creams are the ice creams which are made with custard bases it may contain egg yolks or whole eggs as well in it because ice cream is a very cherished delicacy and as we know that persons suffering from different disorders also lower fear ice cream keeping these reservations in mind manufacturers are making different special ice creams one of them is no sugar ice cream no sugar ice cream is requirement of today's market is we know that india is becoming diabetic capital of world besides this 
देर आर मेनी वेट वॉचर्स और ओबीस पर्सन विच वॉन्ट्स टू अवॉइड अ हाई शुगर कंटेंट ऑफ आइसक्रीम कीपिंग दीज रिजर्वेशन इन माइंड आइसक्रीम आर मेड विद नेचुरल शुगर सब्सटीट्यूट्स एंड सॉल्ट विथ शुगर फ्री ब्रांड सेकेंड स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ आइसक्रीम इज लेक्टोज फ्री आइसक्रीम द पर्सन हु लैक्स लेक्टेज एंजाइम के नोट डाइजेस्ट आइसक्रीम एंड अदर मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स टू सपोर्ट दैम लेक्टोज फ्री आइसक्रीम्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट थर्ड टाइप ऑफ स्पेशल आइसक्रीम इज ग्लूटेन फ्री आइसक्रीम ऑल दो बेसिकली देर इज नो ग्लूटेन इन आइसक्रीम इनग्रेडियंट्स बट स्टेबलाइजर्स यूज फॉर आइसक्रीम मेकिंग मे हैव ग्लूटेन इन दैम इन ग्लूटेन फ्री आइसक्रीम्स स्टेबलाइजर्स आर यूज विच हैव नो ग्लूटेन soya ice creams are also available in the market keeping benefits of soya in mind and using advantage of increasing popularity of soya bean soya ice creams are made from soya fats they generally don't contain animal derived fats or milk fats these ice creams are also a boon for vegans who totally avoid animal products organic ice creams are also available in the market which are made with organically produced milk and also certified for it last one in the special ice creams is italian style gelato which contains egg yolk sugar and sweetness in it students after getting through components varieties and process of ice cream making we must have known that ice cream is an emulsion of milk fat sugar and air good ice cream making is a science of stabilizing this emulsion and keeping ice crystals fine and grainy in today's market ice cream has become a novelty which is available in different quality and price ranges knowledge of types of ice cream make us an aware consumer so we can buy a type as per our requirement thank you